Okay, welcome to Chef D. Home cooking. Well, today I got some crab. And I'm going to make some crab balls. And I'm going to make a special secret sauce. Well, it won't be a secret because I'm going to show it to y'all. But right here I have some awesome long crab meat. It's so good. It's full of crab meat. But all I used on it was some condors, kinder, whatever they call it, cracked pepper, lemon pepper. That's all I put on it. I'm going to make a sauce with it. But I just took... Lots of crab, full of crab, and we're gonna make some balls with it. We're trying to get them to stay together, but it's gonna be gonna be delicious. I think the oil may be hot enough. Let me grab a little piece in there. Oh yeah, be too hot. We don't want it to cook too fast. Let's lower it down, let it cool off. I'm gonna put, put it off for a second and get that temperature down to about 300. I know it's over 300, but anyway, this is what we. This is what I'm creating a ball. Just to do some crab, but I need a little appetizer. I had some in there, I said, well, this is what we're going to do with it. Okay, we're going to get them formed up pretty good. There's so much crab meat, they don't, they don't even want to stick together, but we're going to get them together. See, that brown pretty fast. You don't want that. These things are only going to take about two minutes, if that. But anyway, we got them together. Don't want them to come apart. See, I mean, that just fell. Oh. You can normally take a dust them in some flour, but I don't want to mess up this crab meat because it's very expensive. No flour. I'm trying not to put flour. So I'm going to wash my hands. And we're going to drop them in slowly. We're going to pick it up by the medium. Find something to drop it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take this phone and slowly put it in. Like so. Because it may break apart. I don't know. It's so sensitive, so we're going to fry them up. You can't go drop them in now. I'm losing crap. And we're going to fry them up. Like so. So golden brown. that going on. We're going to clean my board. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. I mean, let's see how quick I get turn. And once I pull them out, we're going to do some more. We're going to do a sauce. Crab sauce, Cajun crab sauce. We're gonna do that. I have some paper towels, but I feel like getting them out the corner. We just gonna use some of these napkins. We're gonna just let them fry for another couple minutes. If anyone watching this video, the ones who watch it and, and subscribe to me, I thank y'all, but uh, just comment on what you would like me to cook. I'm not running out of recipe, but it may be something you want to see. We don't want to mess with them too much. I turn it up a little more. And while that making, we're going to go and make a sauce. Sour cream. Move down the hot sauce. We got some cayenne pepper, we got some honey, organic, and we got one lime. Sweet, this lime right there, let's give you some of the lime. We're gonna make a sauce really fast. Don't take long, it'll be awesome. Cut this lime, we're not gonna use the whole lime probably, maybe. It depends on how much juice you're giving it. So, I want a little crunch on it. We're gonna heist it up. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and take some sour cream. 
Just enough, just enough of that cayenne pepper. Okay, put that kick on it. We got the good old Louisiana hot sauce. We may have to add some more honey, enough for hot sauce. And we're gonna kick it up with a little lime. Every, lime also with seafood. And that should be enough. It's really juicy. And what I'm looking for, my whisk. And we're gonna whisk this up. Once again, sour cream, hot sauce. And we're gonna adjust it because we may need that honey. Like that. And we're gonna see what it tastes like. We're gonna add some more honey. That's it. Secret sauce or just secret sauce. You can pretty much do what you want. Oh, that tastes so good. Spicy. Add a little more honey to it. Got to put a little green in it. We're going to put some parsley. And we're going to pull some crabs out because I smell them. Yeah, you know, put them away. That's a parsley jeff of color. And that's the sauce right there. See the sauce. Now we're going to see if we can get these out. Okay. All crab. Just a little quick recipe. Great, great appetizer. Look at that pretty color. I didn't flip them, but they're done. Don't break. We're going to turn the heat off. It's all crab meat. No matter how it come out, we're going to fix a beautiful plate. Let's see what we got here. Some beautiful crab. Don't matter how it looks, it's an appetizer. We're gonna let them drain off a little bit. We're gonna put this on the side. I'm gonna get a dish. Let's see if we can play that something and drill it a little bit. Yeah, you pretty much can make a sauce start with sour cream or mayo. For sour cream, I find it best. It goes, it goes good on everything. And we're gonna uh, sprinkle with some more of this cracked lemon pepper. Well, that made it too much, but it's, it's all good. Okay, we got that. We're gonna give a dish. I think we're gonna use this. And we're gonna see if we can grab a beautiful one like that. Put them on here. Some awesome crab cakes. Just like that. We're gonna put them all on here. They're all good. The chef died, but we'll do two, four, six, seven fine. Watching my hand. And we're gonna taste, we're gonna decorate a little bit. Like so. We use a little lime, a couple drops of lime. That's awesome. Sauce. And time to taste. That's a good picture now. We're gonna see what they taste like. So I have to find this for you. Let's see, we're going to put some sauce on it. Let's try this, it's it already broke. Everybody say, I'm going to try my food, but I'm about to do it now. Mmm. I want double dip. Oh, it is. 
You know what? I can double dip because I'm the only one eating it. The sauce, is, it goes so good with this sauce. So. This is awesome. Mmm. 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 This is the thing. The olive cream, cayenne pepper. I'm chewing. Oh, this is so good. Lime. Honey. Mix to your consistency, but you don't want it watery. Once again, let's try another one. How about that? It's good. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, the sauce. I gotta stop. Once again, these are crab balls. Fully crab balls. This is my secret sauce. Well, you know it ain't a secret either way because I make all different kinds. I could have added the Richard sauce in it, anything I wanted. It's all a secret. But anyway, thank you guys for watching Chef Dean Home Cooking. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Chef Dean Home Cooking, and like this video and share it. Awesome. Thank y'all.